Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Gatherer channel. I'm sitting in the ER in my own little room. Oh, got somebody coming in. Hi! <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. I'm in the emergency room and we're looking at my thumb. I gotta go get some x rays and see what's going on. I told them that I was thinking about making a video and they said you might want to talk to somebody. So, um, when I go in for the x-ray, if I can get a chance to see what's up, then we'll, we'll see if we can do it. Anyways, uh, down in the comments below if you've ever, uh, broken anything or if you've, uh, done anything stupid like jump off of a dump truck and keep your thumb in a hole and not be able to get it out and land all your weight on it, you know, that's one of the things I've always worried about uh, during deer season. I've heard of guys that like fall out of their tree stand and their ring gets caught and it rips their finger off or or they just hang by it. That's why I thought about getting one of those silicone rings. Anyways, I'm just not probably saying a lot of silly things and it's just to take my mind off the pain because it hurts. Anyway, I'll come back to you and let you know what I know. See you in a little bit. So you're just going to place your hand right on the board for me. Alright. Yep. And I'll put my sticker on there. That just marks what side we're looking at. Okay. So that's your right hand. So Perfect. the right marker. Alright. So there's the first one. The next one, you're gonna give me a thumbs up. Yep. Uh, as best you can, I know. Yep. Okay. Oof. Perfect. Mm. And then for the last one, this one's kind of weird. Okay. So you're gonna turn your hand. Uh, yep. And then. Okay. Careful. Careful. Yep. Ooh. Don't put too much. Okay. Yep. You don't need to put any pressure on it. All right. Just kind of hover <laughs> there. I'm Ooh, sorry. That's all right. I gotta know. do what we gotta do, right? You're doing your job. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with this thing. Alrighty, so that's all three views that we do. Very cool. Uh, Did you want to look at it? Yeah. Hey, you can look at it. Oh, you got it already? It's right on the screen. Man, that's crazy. Alright, let's see if I can get this pillow out of the way. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> Alright, where's the screen here? Or? Over oh, here. over there. I see this. Yeah, so you can see your thumb. Mm. Oh, sorry. sorry. So that's that last one we just did. Do you see anything? I can't comment on the pictures. Okay. I think I see something, but I'm not <laughs> sure. Yeah, so I can't say anything. But the radiologist will look at those. All right. And then they also get them right away over here, too. Very cool. All right. All right. Okay, well, thank you very much, You're Mackenzie. Welcome. That was that's the first time I've seen the, <laughs> the, portable? the, the traveling x ray. Yeah. <laughs> They're pretty handy. And then you don't need to keep walking back and forth. Right. That's awesome. Thanks a lot. Have a great Can I weekend. Oh, uh, sure. My ice pack. Thank <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, you're welcome. Ooh. Hopefully your weekend gets better. Yeah. Than it has been. It started out all right. <laughs> yeah, I get to leave soon, so that's good for me. Right. Well, take care. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Well, I saw the pictures. I don't know. I don't know. I thought I saw a line on one of them, but I couldn't tell. But the radiologist is going to come and let me know, and maybe we can get the information together and see what this person has to say. But that machine was pretty cool. Well, they just came back in and said, definitely broken right where, um, pretty much right where that blood mark is, is right where the crease is, and it snapped right across. And he said it's hanging on by a thread. 
Um, so he said he's going to splint it and set me up with an orthopedic surgeon, um, which I'm probably going to have to go over to the VA, discuss with them, and probably head up to Buffalo. Um, he said it'll get splinted now, then either casted or have surgery, whatever the orthopedic says. So um, I guess this is a continuation drama situation. <laughs> we'll see what they say. Uh, we'll get to the VA and have that done. Uh, right now we're going to get splinted up and get on my way, I guess. So thanks for hanging out with the ER with me. All right, everybody. Let's check this x-ray out. I don't know if you can see it or not. Obviously, it's the right thumb. Um, and what I want to do is try to pull this up. Uh, want to get, there we go, pencil. All right, so let's follow this little orange line right here, right? Uh, we're going to blow this up. And most of you probably can see it. But that mark on my hand is right in this area, right here, um, where there's a little bit of blood on my thumb. And look at that. You're not supposed to see any discoloration in these bones. It's supposed to be all white. But if you see it right here, there is a little smiley face, um, which is a break right there. And... They say that it's hooked on by just a thread. So when I hung on it, I uh, all my weight cracked onto one side, kind of like if you took a chicken bone and you put your thumbs on, on one side and your fingers on the other side and pushed your thumbs in really hard. Um, it would snap the opposite side of where your thumbs were from where the pressure was. But it stays connected on the other side where your thumbs were. That's pretty much what happened. Um, all the pressure was on the, the one side, this side here, and it broke through to right here is where they're saying that it is hanging on by a thread. Right there, just a little bit, but everything else cracked open. Um, so, um, that's what we know. Uh, discard the picture, and from the other angle, well, that's the bigger side. That's the other angle you can see. Um, well, I don't have to do it that way. You can see it, if I blow it up, that on the side, on the one side, I don't know if you can see the pencil mark there, but right here, it is still connected. But everything else cracked wide open. So, um, that's that. And let's get back to the regular piece of the video. Well, here's what it looks like the next morning. The camera's not picking it up, but it's all all green through there and bruised up in the back side over here. But I slept all right last night, um, somewhat. Joy said she didn't sleep very well because she was afraid she was going to hit my thumb all night long. But we're going to get there. We've got to get the splint on and get to church. Hey everybody, I am sitting in my car up in Cheektowaga, New York in a parking lot of one of my favorite stores to go to up here, Cabela's, because where else would you want to go um, if you're in Cheektowaga, right? So you're just watching this video I'm editing, um, trying to get back into some of these videos to get finished editing and get them put up on YouTube. I uh, got about four or five more to go before we're back to being current. So, uh, you just got to see me hanging out in the ER. I've been in there before uh, for different things, but um, this is the first time ever breaking a, well, not ever breaking a bone. I broke my collarbone as a kid skiing, but um, first one that was kind of being uh, debilitating situation where I was not going to be able to be um, able to accomplish things possibly. Uh, so that stuff's all running through my mind while I'm sitting there thinking, okay, deer season's coming. Um, I got all this stuff to do and not knowing exactly, am I going to need surgery? What's going on? But um, so that's it. That's the my first ever I videoed something in the emergency room. 
and maybe if you've ever had broken bones or had any issues like this or whatever, leave a comment down in the comments on YouTube. I know a lot of people watch this through pulling up on Facebook and then you leave a comment on Facebook, but it's cooler if you leave the comment on YouTube so everybody else can see it. Anyway, it's fine if you don't. Um, but so that was it. Uh, you got to see a little bit more x-ray footage. Uh, you saw x-rays of Winnie when she was having the puppies. Um, so we got to go through that and then I just did another little, uh, piece on the x-ray of my thumb you could see where it was actually broken uh, the dark mark um, in the bone and everything so um, anyhow that's that uh, sometimes things happen that are unexpected and you got to just go with it um, I'm watching the video thinking man I don't look like I'm in that much pain I was in a lot of pain but I'm sometimes good with uh, my pain management or my pain levels I guess because I've been hurt a lot <laughs> so I can kind of take it maybe that's the reason I don't know um, so anyway um, there's more to the story uh, I got another video that I'll be editing for a couple days from now you'll get to see what the next step was um, you guys that are my friends or family members you already saw the next step uh, and what I looked like for for four and a half weeks or whatever so all right hey thanks for watching the video um hopefully nobody else is breaking any bones and and nobody else is going to have casts on for weeks and everybody is staying safe so i am going to finish editing this video and then i'm going to get inside the store and see how empty the shelves are and if i can find anything that i might want to pick up um so if you guys could uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment, and just keep watching. Uh, deer season's getting closer and closer. Hopefully, I'll be ready for that. If not, I'm going to be guiding some people, I guess. to I got to get some videos of some deer on the ground, and uh, that's my focus um, come October and November, even considering headed out of state. We'll see. But, hey, thanks a lot. Um, we love you, God loves you, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.